What's going on, YouTube? Back with another topic, real quick. So, <sighs> I keep seeing this. Men are jealous of women. I am so curious about this. Like, it is a topic that bothers me because it's almost like, how are men jealous of women? And so, um, listening to the High Powered Podcast, we're going to listen to her explanation of how we are jealous of her. Uh, let's see. Cue. The truth is, men are jealous of women. And that is because women can do what men can do, but men cannot do what women can do. Men and women both possess naturally masculine and feminine energy or masculine and feminine side. But the reality is these energies are not balanced because women naturally have a connection to the divine feminine creative side. They only need just a little bit of masculine energy to bring forth their dreams, goals and desires. But because men have very little access to the feminine, creative, imaginative side, it takes them much more effort to be able to manifest their dreams, goals, and desires in the way that women can. And this infuriates them. The truth is... Okay, we heard her. Shout out to the High Power Podcast. She's looking cute in there. Normally she'd be looking like a guy, but uh, let's see what she's talking about. So the Divine Feminine is, let me go back. Divine Feminine is the feminine aspect of the divine power that connects and binds the earth together. In other words, it is the goddess energy that exists within all of us. Many ancient cultures have a divine feminine concept that Egyptians had Isis the the Greeks the Greeks have Aphrodite and the Hindus have Shakti. So um let's see. So possibly. So um so she's saying that we are jealous of women because they're able to go in between, they're able to use divine feminine and divine, I guess divine masculine. Divine masculine is the manifestation of male energy within the uh, within and around the universe. According to Xavier, spiritualist and tarot reader of tarot, the divine masculine is the part of you that represents the earthy side, connects to labor, money, strategy, and self-restraint. So pretty much what she's saying is they can they they can use their creative sides, their overall divine feminine, tap into their uh, divine masculine and grow because they're able to um, use both where we men cannot. I mean, I would say I would have to totally disagree. I mean, men um, overall built the world and we, we civilized society so much to where women can operate, you know, in both. And I mean, does that make men jealous? Do I walk around, um, do I walk around like I'm a, a girl or do certain things? No, you know what I mean? Do, um, and that automatic, that automatically makes women unattractive if they're, you know, masculine in their masculine because they can't seem to attract the dude that way. So if she's saying that it makes them more creative than men, then we would have to go to the statistics on it and see which men are men or women who 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 is the riches off their ideas in versus degrees versus successful i mean you go to that competitiveness but i feel that women are great in some things as well as men you know are great in some things our aspect is to to lay the land flat to allow women to exist and be who they are i mean we shouldn't be in the realm competing with women period and women shouldn't be in the realm competing with us in the realm that where we where men compete and women are there, they have to be a lot more men, masculine, and which then puts them in a lot more of a divine masculine um, position versus divine feminine. So if they are displaying displaying 
masculine traits, that's because they have to show some aggressiveness to proceed forward. So, yes, is it ne- is it necessary for men to operate in divine feminine and be okay? We do at like let, let me speak for myself. I can say that at some points that I do represent, I, I exercise some more. I'm not just a cold-hearted person, and I'm not sitting, sitting there just um, operating in a sense when I'm talking to my children or whatever, and I have to be aggressive or whatever. I have to show some sort of, you know, peace and still and, um, and, and softness towards them so they can understand when I'm trying to use tact and deliver a message to them. But mostly I am the father of the house. And the thing is, it's more for our mother to show the, 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 the feminine side, the softer side, the nurturing side. But I have to show some of those skills too when we're, you know, having to, for me to give them a balance of life and grow. So no, men are not and should not be jealous of women. If we're in a realm to where we're competing against each other, that's totally wrong. You know what I mean? And I have to disagree and I hate the fact that Women have to feel that men are are jealous of them. Like if you're around these guys that's jealous, you need to you need to be around. You need I don't know who these guys is. Number one, because I've never been around a group of guys that's just saying, "Ooh, look what she's doing! Oh my God, look what she's doing!" Like, come on, nobody's doing that. If you put if you lay the land flat and you put a woman against a man, like from point A to point B, depending on whatever the situation is, and I mean, let them go. But I don't see, that's why there's rules the way they are now to where men and women should not be competing. And laws have made it to, to where, um, I mean, feminism, fem, feminism fight for equal rights. Versus, so, I mean, I just don't see it. I mean, laws have been laid flat so women can have the ability to be able to be successful in certain ways. I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of laws against men overall that make it that that stifle us in some instances, but I just don't see. I can't say I'm not jealous of a woman. I don't. I don't envy. Um, there are certain things women are able to do that I praise them for. You know, especially when it comes to the uh, the ability to give birth and you know achieve. And I, you know, I celebrate my wife for doing the things that she do. I don't jump in the lane that she's able to do and try to stifle her because I want to see her grow. I make sure that I've done my part so she's able to do her part. So for me, I can't see it, you know. I I mean, maybe we can um, shout out to High Power Podcast. I listen to her. She's very a red pill um, for women So because I get different perspectives. But, I mean, I could disagree with most of her points, but I can still listen to understand exactly what she's trying to say. She preaches women empowerment. She pushes women empowerment, but a lot of it, um, can come off as, uh, misandry. So, but I don't knock her opinion. I mean, there's a a lot of other, um, red pill females or women that I listen to. So, I mean, you know, again, I disagree. That's just me. (sighs) This your boy got inks and in the future, like subscribe, share, and boom, we out. Ooh.